today we are exposing how to analyze your reel so that you can see what's working for you and what's not working for you, even though Instagram does not give us insights for reels. First, we need to investigate the key ingredients of a reel. Content, watch time, engagement, hashtags. Reporting from my laundry office, this is Virginia Kerr and I'm about to show you how to dissect the success of your reel using my reels, reels from people in my course, this is video school, and from people I follow on Instagram. We're going to tackle content first and this first reel I'm going to show you is a good example of how a lot of views does not necessarily mean you had a successful reel. Just because a lot of people saw it doesn't mean they came back to your account, doesn't mean that they want to learn more from you. And the way to figure that out is to look at your engagement. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This is the account of one of my members of This Is Video School. Her name is Silka. She owns a salon and a wig business in Denver. She's very knowledgeable about hairstyles and wigs. Recently, she asked me why she did so well on one of her reels and how she could recreate that. Let's watch it. Learn how to French braid or cornrow your own hair. Being able to French braid or cornrow lets you create texture styles like this without using heat. Being able to braid your own hair means you can make simple and elegant protective styles like this one. Silka got a lot of views on that one, but very low engagement. And when you look at it, you can see that in the hook, it sounds like she's going to show us how to French braid our own hair. But when you watch the video, that's not what happens. And it's a short video, so it gets really good watch time. And you may even watch it twice like I did because I'm trying to figure out where she taught me how to French braid my hair. So she got good watch time, low engagement. That means the algorithm liked it, but people not so much. But here's the clue. You go to her comments and you can see people are asking her to show them how to French braid their own hair. So now she knows that she can go and create that video actually showing people how to French braid their own hair because it's wanted. You always want to look for the clues in the ones that do really well with high views. What is it missing that you can tweak so that it would perform better the next time? Now, here's one of mine to show you the exact opposite of that situation. This reel right here got over 60,000 views. Over 4,000 people liked it, 311 commented on it. This reel is 30 seconds long. The entire link that reels will give you. Keep that in mind. Now, if I go to this one that gets 245,000 views, it got over 6,000, almost 7,000 likes and 172 comments. Well, considering that's a lot more views than the 60,000 up there, and it should have gotten a lot more engagement. It's gotten a lot less engagement, half of what that one did. So why did this one do so well? This one is only 21 seconds. The content is good, but the watch time is also good because people were more likely to watch the entire thing because it's shorter. That's why I say try to keep it less than 22 seconds. So again, the clue here is to keep the videos shorter, not longer, but still pack them with powerful content. Here's another example. This is Lee. She is a dating coach and she asked me to analyze one of her reels, which is 30 seconds long. Keep that in mind. Don't throw away dollars in your DM. Every new follower should be treated like a new customer that walks into your store. Me all these three things, you'll make $1,000 with just 50 followers in less than three days. She buried the lead. That's what we would have said in the news business. This was loaded with powerful information, but she took too long to get to the point. What perked your interest when you heard that? Uh, making a thousand dollars in 30 days with these three things? That's the hook. That's what she should have said. She would have saved 15 seconds right there and then get straight into those three points that were so money, like literally money. But if she had a shorter watch time and she tightened her edits a little bit, she would have gotten a lot more views. And Lee, you can redo this video and it's gonna do well. Let's check out Lauren Lane's account. She is also a member of This Is Video School. She is a chef. And recently, we've been working with her to get more face exposure in her reels because people need a face and getting really good, powerful information in a short amount of time. And she nailed it with this one this week. 
with over 4,000, nearly 4,700 views. And I want you to see this. So which is better, wood or plastic cutting boards? Myth busted. A test was conducted. They put bacteria on both a wood and a plastic cutting board. The bacteria on the plastic cutting board actually multiplied. Ew. The bacteria on the wood cutting board actually died. Don't believe me? I'll link the research study in the comments below. She got a lot of engagement too. So what did she do? She was moving right in the beginning. She told you exactly what you were going to find out, what's better, the plastic or the wooden cutting boards. And she gave you information that made you think, hmm, things that make you go, hmm. She gave you something that gave you an aha moment that made you think twice. You're not gonna forget that. And it was packed in a short amount of time. Way to go, Lauren. Let me show you another one of Silka's that did really well for all the right reasons. She got even more views in this one, almost 3,700 views, and she got a lot of engagement. Let's watch it. She don't see us? <laughs> you see me? Yes, I see you, you see me. The reason that that did so well is because it was funny and it was very quick editing. And what was really important is that even though she used a lip dub, she kept it in her niche. And you'll hear me talk about this a lot. You don't wanna rely on lip dubs and trends because if you're trying to build authority online, you've gotta use your actual voice with original content. But it's great to mix in the humor amongst all of your tips and authority building content. Soka, awesome job, so cute. Let me show you this reel because at first glance, it looks like it's winning in all areas. It's got a lot of views, it's got incredible engagement, and it is winning, but not for the reasons you might think. Remember, we have to have intention behind every video. Some videos are going to be the ones that grab new faces, that grab new followers. Some videos are just going to nurture your existing audience and you want those, you need those. If you wanna take people to the next level and really get that connection going, you've gotta nurture your audience. So my reel last night has already over 30,000 views. Normally it would take several days for one of my reels to reach that amount. And the engagement is out the wazoo. I've got nearly 3,000 likes, although we don't really care that much about likes, and I've got over 220 comments right now. But here's the kicker, I've lost followers. My numbers have gone down since that hit. What does that mean? That means it's getting a lot of eyeballs and people who already follow me are engaging, but it's not attracting people who don't follow me to come back to my account. It's not creating enough curiosity for them to want to come back to my account. And it's fine. The intention is not always to grow your account. The intention is to take care of the people you already have. So every reel has a different makeup. Every reel has a, a different formula that's going on. But every reel should also have a different intention. What do you want the reel to do? If you want the reel to attract new people to your account, that's when you want to have those authority building reels. This reel was not authority building. It was very relatable. I was talking about the voices in my head when I first started my video coaching business. So my existing audience knows me and it helped them relate to me even more. But it's not something that would have created enough curiosity that someone who saw me on the reels page randomly would want to come back to my account and possibly follow me. You're in your mid forties. Nobody cares about your little video tips. You barely have 300 followers. You're so awkward. People think you're crazy. You know that, right? <laughs> but wait, there's more to the story. We've only covered content and watch time. Let's talk engagement. Here's a hack for you. Pull up your Instagram account and it has to be on your feed page, not your Reels channel, your feed. And go to your most recent Reel, preferably one that you've posted in the last 24 hours. I'm gonna show you what happens. Pulling up my feed and I'm going to click on that Reel I posted last night. I'm going to then click the three dots in the top right corner and I see an option called View Story Reshares. 
This is only an option if you have someone right now who has shared your reel to their story. So I click view story reshares, and now I can see how many people are sharing that reel and their stories right now. But if I go to a reel, let's go to this one. I hit the three dots. That option is not there because no one is sharing this reel and their stories at this second. So that is a good way to see if people find your reel valuable enough to share it to their audience. And engagement is key, meaning comments and shares. But I put them in this order for a reason. I think content's most important, then watch time, then engagement, then hashtags. Let's talk about it. We have an update on a developing story. Remember when I told you in this video right here, that I was going to research hashtags because up until now, I've only used three to five hashtags on my reels because that's what I did on TikTok. I've been looking at it. Let me show you what I found. I still don't agree with using all 30. Here's what I think. You have to use hashtags that are very relevant to what is in your reel, meaning, words that you're using inside the video and inside the caption. I have found when I don't have hashtags that are very related to what I'm talking about, I don't appear. But here's one that I appeared in every single hashtag search. It's last night's video. Do I think that because I appeared in all the searches, that's why that video is doing well right now? Mm, I don't know. The watch time is good, content's pretty good, but it could be hashtags. But I have used a lot of hashtags and not done so well, but let me show you how this works. So if you click on that video and you go to the hashtags, clicking on online businesses, click on the reels, and then I thumb through them, and there I am. Clicking on women in video. This is a very small one. That's also something I've discovered which is not shocking. The smaller the hashtag, the more likely you are to appear. There I am. But I was able to actually hit a pretty big one. This one has 816,000 people using it. There I am. And I went through all of these and I'm in all of these. How many people are searching these hashtags and looking for people, therefore I'm getting exposed and getting more views? I don't know. I just know that the ones that I've done really well with I used very specific related hashtags and I didn't go more than five. In this one, I went with eight. So here's my conclusion. Don't use a whole bunch of hashtags just to use a whole bunch of hashtags. Make them very specific and related. And I think the sweet spot is fewer than 15. I'm gonna go with eight. I like eight right now. I like eight. But you have to do your own research. This is what I have discovered. If you'd like me to do more Reels critiques, drop a comment below and let me know, especially if you want me to critique your Reel. And if you'd like more ideas on how you can crank out some ideas for your Reels, check out this video right here. Until next time, take inventory and take care.